to join And I was singing And I'm dancing And I was shout for joy Turn my sadness into gladness You turn my sorrow into joy And now I'm singing And I'm dancing Welcome back to this week's lesson. So last week, we started off with the series of the armor of God and we learned that it is something that God puts on us because of what Jesus had done on the cross. And it is an armor so that, that we wear so that we can stand firm and hold our ground when we are being attacked. It's not something that we wear and cause to cause trouble everywhere we go. We are not troublemakers, we are peacemakers. What is it? Um, water? Wow, correct! What is 4 times 4? 16. Good, correct! What is this shape called? A square. Wow, so smart! How do you know all this? Thing? Well, because I went to school, doll. Okay. I'll ask you one more question. How does clouds weigh? I don't know. Huh? You don't know the answer? Clouds rain nothing! Oh, I did not know that. Wrong! I just told you the wrong answer. That every white fluffy cloud can weigh up to 500,000 kg! Well, when David told me the wrong answer and told me that clouds weigh nothing, I believed him because I did not know the right answer or the truth. And because I did not know the right answer, I could not detect the wrong thing that he just told me. And he tricked me. Well, if he told me that 4 times 4 is 10, I will immediately know that he is definitely pranking me and telling me the wrong answer. Because I know for a fact that 4 times 4 is 16. Right? Yeah, 16. So let me give you another example. Hmm, this one is the real one. I think this one because I've seen the real money before. Let's go take it. Boom! Real money! Go take it. Another money. One more time. Let's go take it. Huh? Real money! You got three dollars! Hmm, I got three dollars and I'm rich! Rich! Oh, ah, 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 ah. In life, sometimes we believe the lies because we don't know the truth. If we don't know the truth, we cannot detect the lie. And that's why God gave us the belt of truth. Because only when we know the truth can we recognize 
the lie. Today we're going to learn about the belt of truth. So buckle up. Get it? The belt of truth. Buckle up. Funny, right? What is the function of belt in the olden days? Well, in the old, well for now it's more of a fashion, but or you know to help pull your pants up. But in the olden days, Roman soldiers wear their belts for a couple of reasons. Hey, look! That man is part of the Roman army. Better not make him mad, huh? How do you know? He's not wearing a soldier's armor, man. Look at the belt he's wearing. Only Roman soldiers can wear that. Wow! Yes, sir! The first one is for identity. So when Roman soldiers wear their belt around them all the time, even when they're just strolling at the st on the street casually. It is their, the most valuable thing that they own. The belt identifies them as part of the prestigious Roman army. It's a status, of uh, it's a sim status symbol of superiority and it sets him apart from everyone else. Even though he's not wearing his full armor, as long as he has that belt around him when he walks around, everyone will be like, whoa, Roman soldier. With the belt around his waist, when the Roman soldier is in battle, he is confident that the whole so, uh, Roman army has got his back because he is part of them. Well, when we have the belt of truth around our waist, it sets us apart from everyone else because as we look down at our waist and we see the belt of truth encircled around us, it reminds us that, hey, we are part of God's family and He has got our back. The belt also keeps him ever ready for anything that may come his way. It carries all his equi uh, important equipment like belt, uh, like his sword. A policeman store all his important equipment such as his handcuffs, his baton, his, maybe a taser or a portable radio in his belt so that he can easily reach for it when he needs it. His hands are free to move because he don't have to hold on to all this equipment. Batman's utility belt is his most important crime-fighting tool because it allows him to store important things like his bat grapple, lasers, smoke pellets. Storing all this in his utility belt enables him to keep his hands free to do his crime-fighting. Imagine if he has to hold on to this while he's doing his crime-fighting things. With the belt of truth in place, we can easily keep the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, by our side all the time. Because we can easily reach and we can easily reach for it when we need it. If a Roman soldier is not wearing his belt in battle, he is of no use. Wait up, wait up, wait up. Hello, in new battles, the enemy won't wait for you to be ready la. Ayo, what kind of soldier is this? What is the belt of truth? Everything that is written in the Bible is the truth. God's word is the truth. All of God's commandments, promises, and words in the Bible are the truth that God wants us to be surrounded with. He wraps the belt of truth around us and we can cinch it tight by reading the truth daily. And as we study and read the Bible, we know that, well, we will know that we can trust in God's love for us and through that, build up our faith. Because Romans 10, 17 says that faith comes by hearing the word of God. How many of you can do this without falling over? Well, both legs must be straight. I can't do it. I'll be falling all over because my core, my physical core is not strong. Well, to be able to do this at a high height, 
we must our our physical core must be strong so that it will keep us stable and we don't fall and stumble everywhere. Well, reading the Bible, reading the Word, the truth, strengthens our spiritual core so that we can stand firm and we don't stumble or trip over lies. What are some of the lies? I'm not smart. I always fail. I'll be nothing in life. The belt of truth reminds us that God has prepared a great destiny for us even when we were still in our mother's womb. Ayya, I sure cannot pass one. I might as well look at other people's answers during the exam. But the belt of truth reminds us that cheating is a form of stealing people's answers and cheating won't help us learn. Belt of truth also reminds us that God wants us to build a strong foundation, not a crooked belt. No one cares about you. The belt of truth reminds us that Jesus never left us. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. God kept so much that He gave up His Son's life for ours. You are precious and you are specially chosen. All of these lies do not line up with the word, what the Word of God says and what God says about us. When we don't know the truth that are in here, we believe in the lies and the lies can hold us down. But when we know the truth, the truth shall set us free. Actually, it's not what is the truth, but who is the truth? Because in John 17, 17 tells us that God's word is the truth. Jesus used that same Greek word for truth in, uh, in John 14, verse 6 to describe who he is. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the truth. In the beginning, there was the word, and the word was with God. And the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. In the armor of God, God wraps Jesus tight around our waist so that our spiritual core is strong. Just like a Roman soldier's belt holds all things together, Jesus, the truth, holds everything together. Colossians 1.17 says, He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. It may be raining outside, thunders are roaring, lightning is flashing. It's so easy to be afraid. But fear not because the truth in the Bible tells us that God is with us. We are in the secret place of the Most High and are under the shelter of His wings. As we keep our minds on Him, He keeps us in perfect peace. Just like the Roman soldiers wear their belt all the time, let's put on the belt of truth by meditating on God's word constantly. Meditating means thinking and thinking and thinking about the truths that are in God's word. The more we meditate on God's truth, there is no room for lies in our mind because it is filled with God's word. When our minds stumble from lies, the belt of truth holds everything together and gives us the stability to stand firm in the truth. Let's pour up energize now! Shoot up with the armor of God so we can stand firm when the enemy attacks. At all times, we stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around our waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place. 
without be defeated with the greediness that comes from the gospel of peace with the shield of faith that can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the enemy. With the helmet of salvation, with the sword of spirit, which is the word of God, and with the strongest protection, praying in the spirit at all times with all prayer requests. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you love us so much and that's why you sent your only son Jesus down to die, to take the punishment for our sins. And because of that, we can go to you boldly. And thank you for giving us the armor of God so that we can stand firm throughout any things that may come our way. Help us to uh, read more about your truths and discover all the new things and truths that you want us to learn about. Grant us your divine wisdom, favor, protection, grace as we go on with our lives and help us to share your love to all those who are around us as well. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.